So we're in our third part concerning skepticism. Now, one of the myths that the skeptics propound is is um, that there is no evidence for the Christian faith, and they love to 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 pronounce this, especially on YouTube. People like Aaron Ra, for example, one of his famous statements is, "I don't like being lied to," as if Christians are lying about the Christian faith, as if there's no evidence for the Christian faith, but Christians are saying, hey, the Christian faith is true, but it's not based on evidence. And so there's this massive presentation by uh, skeptics and those who are against Christianity, whether it be atheist or any other kind of skeptical group, and they just paint this black picture that, you know, Christianity is just mythological, it's irrational, and it's just not got any evidence but this is not true it's just totally not true and you can see this quite clearly when you look at the life and death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ there's lots of evidence to tell us that Jesus was a real historical figure there's lots of information outside the Bible that tells us that was near the time of Jesus's life that tells us about Jesus existing so we have documents such as Pliny and Tacitus and Josephus and the Talmud and other ancient texts as well that that we can investigate and we can get our teeth into and we can study and find evidence that Jesus really existed. Another example is recent scholarship, well scholarship that's been going on for the last 60 years but the last 20 years has mushroomed in first century Judaism and as we've studied first century Judaism we found that the Gospels are amazingly representative of first century Judaism which shows that the Gospels are rooted in real history but then the tenant of the Christian faith this tenant that Jesus died and rose again is the main thing about Christianity and yet this is clearly proven there is solid evidence for this the fact that Jesus died on a cross we have evidence within the New Testament but we have evidence outside the New Testament of ancient authorities near um, the time of the Apostles that corroborate what the Apostles were saying as historically correct so so much so that a skeptical writer uh, who is no friend of evangelicals Dominic Crosson said that the fact that Jesus died on a cross is one of the most well attested facts in ancient history and new research all the time being done by Dr. Balcom um, uh, you can listen to his lectures at Southern Baptist Theological Seminary on the historicity of the Gospels showing how the Gospels are written as ancient biography in the tradition of the Greek and Roman tradition of writing and it's interesting the tradition of the ancient Greek and Romans in writing biography and history was to use eyewitness account so in other words we're learning more and more that the Gospels are eyewitness account just like they were the Roman historians saw good history and the Greek historians saw good history that is history that comes from primary sources and scholars like N.T. Wright have, and others and uh, E.P. Saunders have shown that the general tenant of the life and death of Jesus Christ has been affirmed uh, historically uh, through the study again of first century Judaism. So in other words there's a lot of scholarship, N.T. Wright, uh, Dr. Balcom um, and uh, many many more scholars that have quite clearly provided solid evidence for uh, the life and death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Uh, the evidence is there and it's for you to look into that evidence uh, but there's a lot of evidence there. Uh, another great scholar is um, Dr. Gary Habermas who's written a lot on the resurrection of Christ uh, if you read his PhD there's lots of evidence there that he provides for Jesus dying and rising again and if you look at the debates between Anthony Flew and Dr Gary Habermas you'll be impressed 
of the tremendous evidence that is presented in the defense of the Christian faith. So in other words, be very, very wary of these skeptics who will tell you there is no evidence because you will find there is lots of evidence for Jesus Christ dying and rising again. Thank you for listening.